Hi, today we're gonna talk about Braxtonic's contractions and what they feel like. Welcome to the Hypno Baby channel. I'm Dr. Natalie Fizet. I'm a retired family doctor who delivered 3,700 babies. This is your channel, so don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and be amazed! Of course, there's a big medical disclaimer. This channel is for entertainment only. You use it at your own risk. I am I am a doctor, but I'm not your... Hi, I'm Dr. Natalie Fizet. So today we're going to talk about Braxton Hicks contractions. What are Braxton Hicks? They're false contractions. So first thing you have to know is how to count a contraction. So we count a contraction from the beginning of one to the beginning of the next one. Got that? Let's say it starts at 10.05 and the next one is at 10.17. You're 12 minutes apart for one contraction. Okay. So that's one thing, how to count contraction. Pretty easy. Beginning of one to the beginning of the other one. And then there's apps for that where you just press the button. But women gave birth before apps existed. <laughs> Honestly. So Braxton Nix was a doctor, John Braxton Nix, in the 1800s. So we've known about uh, false contractions for Braxton Nix contractions for a very, very, very long time. So um, they're different than labor contraction first because you don't get your baby. <laughs> <laughs> pretty easy so uh, and they're they're at a different place okay so you might be wondering what does it feel like so they're usually in the front of the belly they can start between a week 20 they can start some some patients if, if it's their four or five six babies they can have contractions at 10 weeks okay it's just the um, muscle of the uterus contracting but usually you would feel them after 20 weeks so it's the belly getting hard if you're not sure what a contraction feels like <laughs> i'm kind of chubby so i say okay uh a contraction is your forehead and no contraction is my cheek <laughs> Okay, so okay, one, the belly is soft and <laughs> the contraction is the forehead. The contraction does not last uh, like 10 minutes. That's usually cramping or ligament pain, and that's a different video altogether. Contraction usually will last 30 to 60 seconds. Um, the Braxtonix contractions are irregular. So if you're trying to time, uh, you're going to go, oh, they're five minutes apart. Yay, going to the hospital. And then, oh. You don't have anything for 20 minutes then you get another one you're like okay back in business but it shows you like it's all over the place it also does not increase in intensity because uh, real labor will pick up eventually will get stronger and stronger just like a, a cart rolling down a hill so it's pick it, it picking up speed is getting closer and closer together and is getting stronger just like my cart is getting like uh, more speed and more uh, energy so same thing real labor will uh, get stronger another uh, way if if you're the person accompanying the mummy who's uh, um, pregnant if she can talk during the contraction saying oh my god i hope the baby has your eyes and i'm so happy it's happening today uh she's not in labor even if she can say like oof it, it, it's strong and then she can describe it she's still not in labor most probably because usually in labor women are pretty quiet or vocal but they're not saying words they're not talkative they're focusing on the contraction and even with the hypno baby usually they're they're not screaming or anything but they're they're in their zone they're doing their techniques that we show them so they're pretty quiet and focused so that's that might be a, a sign so getting back to the braxtonix they're usually like in the front so you get like it and your belly is hard it's tightening but it they're not going anywhere it, it's what you, you the feeling you're gonna get the real contractions will start in the back and will go in the front and usually they're kind of uh, working inside you can feel like oh my god it feels like menstrual cramping it feels like the baby's like being pushed down it feels like the cervix is being pulled so it feels really really different so what do we do with the uh, Braxnix contractions we ignore them because you're gonna have so many if you're not sure there's ways to different um, 
differentiate um, if you take a warm bath and <laughs> at the delivery room, I would joke with the nurses saying, you should put the answering machine. You're always saying the same thing. Take a warm bath for 30 minutes, call us if it increases, don't call us if it, if it uh, stops or slows down. <laughs> and sometimes they would pick up the phone after half an hour and saying, take a second bath. And I was like, put the answering machine on. It's always the same thing you're saying. But um, also just by the voice of the, if, if the mummy was calling on the phone, if she's calling on the phone and, and talking and saying, oh, my contractions are this and that, they're Braxtonics most probably, or like the really very beginning of labor, because usually you cannot talk on the phone when, when you're in labor. Um, sometimes it would be their spouse that would call saying, oh my, and he's all excited and oh my God, my wife is in labor, we're gonna have the baby and then this, and you can see like he's all over the place. And usually the nurse would say, get your wife on the phone. And, and then we would know, like, if she's like huffing and puffing and cannot talk, that's uh, usually, okay, she's in labor. Or if she's describing, again, the contraction, okay, it's Braxtonics, it's false labor. Um, what can cause Braxtonics? Uh, just, it's, it's your uterus just getting ready for the big race. Just like someone who's gonna uh, do a race, you can see them jumping up and down, warming up their muscles. So your um, uterus is warming up for the big race. It's also, uh, sometimes if it pulls on the cervix a bit, it's like playing with an, an elastic so uh, a rubber band. If, if, uh, if I'm playing with the rubber band, okay, uh, my rubber band after I'm playing with it looks exactly the same just like your cervix has not changed but it is softer okay and it's the same thing my rubber band it, it has changed in its molecules because it's it's more stretchable the more I play with it but if you look at it and you don't touch it you don't know uh, which one I played with and if I have two rubber band it's the same thing with the cervix so it it prepares your body for the, the big race, <laughs> I'd say that. So if you're dehydrated, you're gonna have more contractions. So they say, if you wanna stop like uh, Braxenix, you can drink a couple of uh, two or three glasses of water. And it's, it's always good to be well hydrated because then you're gonna, you might have headaches, you might have cramping, you might have so many things. So uh, always drink. And if you have uh, Braxenix, drink more and, um, try to get hydrated. Uh, baby movement uh, might cause uh, contractions, Braxenix, because a baby is, is touching not not directly the your muscles, but it's stretching from the inside the muscles, and, and then that could trigger a contraction, a Braxenix again. The other thing is if you're walking, your your leg muscles are, are contracting. So sometimes your uterus might say, me too, me too. And then you get contractions. If you see you're, you're active, you're walking and you get too much contraction, just sit down, rest a bit and it's going to go away. Another thing that can trigger uh, false contractions or Braxenix is if you have intercourse, there's a substance in the sperm, the prostaglandin, which will give you uh, contractions. Again, take the bath. It, it will have two effects. A warm bath will relax your muscles, relax yourself too, so the stress will go away, and it will wash out the sperm, which is uh, kind of uh, the triggering factor for the false contractions. They say also, if you are tired, lie on your left side in bed. Uh, you can put a pillow between your knees to help your, your back not pull too much and, and uh, be uncomfortable. But if you lie on your left side, your uterus, uh, your baby uh, tilts a bit um, to the left side. It liberates the flow of your inferior vena cava, the big vessels that we have. So if it's real contractions, they will pick up because they have more blood flow. And if it's false contractions, again, it will stop. And if you wake up and saying, oh, no, darn, I, I fell asleep and now they're gone. It was false labor. So you did not miss anything. It, it's not a bad thing. A little anecdote. I love to give you anecdotes since I was in medical practice for 25 years and delivered 3,700 babies. One of my patients uh, walked in uh, my office and, and she was uh, a little past her date. She was uh, due date. She was like 40 weeks and a couple of days. And she's like, oh, Natalie, I, 
I thought I was going in labor during the weekend. I had such contractions so big and, and you know, they were coming closer and, and uh, I called the maternity ward and everything. And I'm like, they were Braxtonix. And she goes, how would you know? Like you, did, you didn't uh, check me or anything. And I'm like, well, you're still pregnant. <laughs> she was not happy with my answer, but it was true. Like if it had been real labor, it would have gone like, Eventually she delivered, that's for sure. <laughs> so the last thing you have to know is don't worry, the Braxinex are not dangerous for your baby. You can imagine baby is surrounded by liquid. So it's like you're kind of squeezing its little uh, kitty pool. So really like baby is not, uh, is, is not stressed out by your contractions. Baby can still move during contractions, either the false ones or the real one. But most of the times you won't feel it because your belly's hard, so that's normal. But some babies still move until the very end. I've seen babies giving a last kid before coming out. <laughs> So, um, and some women have zero Braxinix or maybe they're too busy. The other thing also is if, if you were very busy during the day, especially let's say you went shopping and you were like, uh, again, very busy, you might have more contractions. Take a bath, rest on your left side, just read a book and, and it, they will go away. Can Braxinix, um, trigger labor not really it could be before labor but uh usually it, there's no point in uh, walking uh trying to activate the labor with the uh, braxtonix like if your contractions are all over the place six minutes apart two minutes apart and then none for 20 minutes saying i'm gonna walk i'm gonna i'm gonna do like i see in forums people saying do squats and and you know you can have intercourse no problem it can help a bit but if you see like it's been hours of of this and it's all over the place you call the maternity ward you took your three bats you're, you're all wrinkled and you're still not in active labor just go to bed it it might it, it's a sign it's coming especially when when you're full term it's a sign it's coming but it might not be uh quite there yet and you need your rest because once labor real labor starts, it cannot be stopped anymore. So uh, just rest, you might be woken up by real labor or uh, you might wake up in the morning feeling refreshed and, and go for another couple of days. In doubt, call your healthcare provider, the maternity ward. And also if there's other things, if you break your water, have to go to the hospital. Don't burn any red lights because it's more dangerous than waiting. Um, if you have heavy bleeding, like a period, that's not normal either. If you have a little showing, like a little red and some mucus, that's good. It means, you know, your cervix is getting ready, but you're almost uh, a term or you're, you're a term. So it's normal that you, you have the showing, but um, then you don't have to go to the hospital for just like a part of the plug coming out. If uh, you have pain that, and trust yourself, um, if, because when people call, we just have the, the, the information they give us, but you're the one who can feel your body if something does not feel right. And also, if you have all those Braxtonics, um, make sure that you feel the baby moving in between. Baby does not stop moving, okay? Even at the end, some women think that it, it's more squeezed. The, you don't get the, the Kung Fu kicks anymore um, often, but you still need to have those uh, reassuring movements. So do the movement counts. Uh, in doubt, call your healthcare provider and uh, or go to the maternity ward and get checked. Uh, our patients who took the hypno baby course uh, were very comfortable even during labor, but they, they're able to differentiate uh, real f labor from false labor because you know in your body. And I've had a patient that did beautifully. She gave birth uh, with a smile on her face and no epidural, no nothing. But uh, she told me afterwards, she goes, uh, when she was like seven centimeters, she was like, well, maybe I'm a lucky person and I don't feel my contraction. She was doing her all the powerful techniques that we show in the Hypno Baby program. But she goes, well, maybe I'm just like blessed or I'm, I'm really tolerant to pain. So she decided not to do the techniques during a contraction and she went, 
oh my god <laughs> and then she go no 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 and the next contraction and she did her techniques and went back beautifully and uh, she had beautiful birth so yes they know the difference because you you can feel it in your body when you're giving birth um those uh programs pregnant and uh, not knowing it uh, I've, I've never had a patient that was pregnant and did not know it. And, um, you know, uh, and when my patients say, will I know, like, uh, how will I know when I'm in labor? I always t told them, um, let's talk after the birth. And after the birth, they were like, yeah, you were right. I knew I was giving birth. That's the certainty you, you will have in your life is that you're giving birth. So don't worry about that. So now that you know what are braxtonics and what are real contractions and you say, well, I would like to have some tools to deal with either and both. Um, braxtonics is also like you can practice the uh, hypno baby techniques and, and be very comfortable. So it, it's a practice run too. So if you want to uh, take the course, the link is going to be in the description uh, below. See you in the course. Bye.